and, and I had excellent instruction. I went to North High, and I'm going back to North High um, uh, to do a um, uh, to do a talk to the students Monday. So when I was young, I did. I've always done people. I've always done portraits, and I've always been involved with. Uh, drawing my friends and cousins and family. So that's my cousin Mike. This is my friend Wes. Uh, this is a pastel I did when I was 17. So this is Wes at 17, Wes at 42. So I came back and revisited Wes and put him into one of my large charcoal drawings. And this drawing is in the show. Uh, this drawing is entitled uh, West teaching Hunter, so it's his son Hunter, and uh, the entire time we were there, that dog just kept wanting to come inside, <laughs> so I put the dog in the drawing. But I, uh, I began these drawings uh, with themes of uh, violence and alcoholism, failed ambitions, the. Uh, the darker terrain of life, and, and they're, they're a pretty abrupt shift from what I've been doing before. Uh, okay, <laughs> now this, this jumps, to, this comes to uh, art school. Uh, I went to Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts and had a very classical training, and the school that I'm an adjunct faculty in now is even stricter, so it's a perfect fit. It's figure-based, these are all student paintings, um, from life, and um, it, it, it's the the core. I mean, it's the most important training uh, for an artist. I think is to learn how to draw and paint the human figure from life. And the theory is that if you can do that, you can paint and draw anything. So these are student pieces in my first couple years at Pennsylvania Academy. Then they wanted you to start doing your own work. So this is a piece that I set up in, the, in uh, private, my private studio that the school gave me. And this is, uh, again, I branched in. My final year, I started doing these punk rock paintings. I love, I love punk rock, still do. And uh, this is my friend Tripp. So this is Tripp when he was thin and young. And this is Tripp when he's not so thin just got divorced and uh, uh, I did him right after the divorce so, so and the title is Trip Alone. I did over the years I did a lot of uh, landscapes from life, pastel landscapes. In the, I, I, in the end I incorporated a lot of what I learned from all the different things I did they, they all go into the drawings, so if you'll, when you see these drawings out through the windows, there's a lot of landscapes. So this is California, the, the other one's California too. And this is California. But I love working, I, I haven't been able to recently, but to work for life. Um, over the years, I, I, I've done considerable amount of commission portraits, and I still do. So um, I enjoy doing portraits, these are oils. Uh, they're different. Uh, I don't normally do the dark side of childhood. So, and people don't hire me for that. So, uh, uh, so I, I, I make uh, attractive commission portraits. And it's a nice balance, actually, when I get portrait work, because sometimes the drawings um, do kind of pull me in uh, to the narratives. And I'm rolling through these, uh, uh, these are all commission portraits and, that I did over the years. These are from the 80s. And the, the, the paintings are, it's not that big, it's, the figure's probably life size, so it's a little smaller than this, or half the size. And the uh, commission portrait, this is the film director, Mike Nichols, to, it's his son. Um, he wanted me to do anything I wanted with the kids. He wanted them happy, so I, they wore the clothes that they wanted to be portrayed in for eternity. So there you go, jeans and a tight belt, and, which was great. It was, it was actually fun to do. And that's uh, Mike Nichols' daughter, 
And the work I was doing, the other work I was doing too, the nudes, um, I was working in very classical, old masters based uh, realism, uh, which I abandoned. The colors on this come out, for some reason my slides come out kind of harsh, and, uh, but this is a more recent portrait. Uh, it's an 84 year old woman, Elizabeth Payne Heard, and she had donated money to a building, and this hangs in Moravian College. And um, I've done a fair amount of commission animals, and this, this dog is just, they're really fun to do. Uh, animal commissions are funny, and they're fun to do. And <laughs> this one is just great, you know. Um, so, th these are kittens, but it looks like an, a, a, a weird married couple. <laughs> But they, you know, everyone's, I think everyone's seen these cats. They, they, they make you laugh. And so, um, with my nudes, I did move into, I did want to, I did move into some darker places, but um, this piece is, uh, I wanted to do a, a painting of a girl kind of in a drugged state. Like she's uh, kind of going into a coma. 